We have two types of compounding. Sterile and non-sterile compounding. That's where you garb, and we've been doing that for the last couple of days. Say, for example, we're constituting a powder for antibiotic for kids. You can just add water in there, okay? And that's still considered sterile. I mean, non-sterile compounding. There's also, it's also called extemporaneous compounding. That shows up on your final exam. Non-sterile compounding may also be called extemporaneous compounding. The other question I'm going to talk about when it makes sense. <laughs> Let's go back to the prescription. So if this is a prescription, the drug and the strength of the drug, it's called the inscription. So in this case, it's MS cotton, which is morphine, 15 milligrams. Other books would say the quantity to be dispensed is part of the inscription. But know that if you see this, we call it pound key in the old days. There's a more technical term for that. I keep forgetting what it's called, but your time, it's that's not a technical term. That's your John Russ term. Yeah? Hashtag nowadays. It was pound keys during my time. But that's not that whatever scientific term. Maybe we'll look it up later. But I don't want to ruin my flow. So this is the quantity to be dispensed. If MS cotton comes in a tablet form, does it come in a tablet form, capsule form? Both. That means this text pertains to tablet. Okay. That's a quantity to be dispensed. You're sick. When you see that, even if the doctor doesn't write sick, it pertains to signatura. To the patient on how to use it or administer it or instructions to the pharmacists or the pharmacy, including pharmacy technician, on how to compound it. Can you follow? If the prescription is ready made, if the drug is ready made, this is an instruction to the patient on how to take it. But prescriptions can be sent to a pharmacy, which we've been talking about, the different settings, right? Specialty pharmacy, wherein they have to compound it. This is where your abbreviations come into play. Right? PRM stands for? As needed. As needed from the words for not for acute pain. The doctor specified that. I hope all doctors write this way. Pretty. But that's not real case scenario. But one of the things that we've done, part of the regulation is, uh, especially in hospitals, doctors have to input it on the computer to avoid medication errors or misreading of those prescriptions. Okay. 